I'm finally here, guys. First time in Tokyo. Now we're going to the... Guess what, guys? What does that look like? The Google office! <laughs> Addison's first stop in Tokyo is the Google office. We're in Shibuya now. Here at the Google office with the free food. What did you get? Okonomiyaki, udon, eggplant, mackerel, kushiage. I got miso soup with clams, udon, two kushiage, tofu, squid, okonomiyaki. We get this gorgeous view. We're now on the 35th floor. Oh my god. Guys, this view. Guys, what? They have this here too? Bruh. I'm definitely gonna get the miso ramen. more than this in, in, in New York. Yeah, but they don't have sushi here. I think I need a reservation for that one. <laughs> Look at everyone. Everyone's filming. <laughs> Nintendo Center, but we're going to the Pokemon Center. This is the jump shop. You want to go here? <laughs> Limited souvenir coin. Okay. I should be. Let me guess, you want a photo or even a video? There's a line, line up. Guys, I bought something from the vintage store. It's from Celine. We're a little bit late, but we're here in Harajuku now. Just exploring what is open. We definitely have to come back here though. There's like a lot of places that I've been trying to hit up just kind of by strolling. This I actually intentionally went to. But yeah. Crepe to animals. <laughs> so some of my food has come in. He still has nothing, just but beer. I got my cold soba and my oden. Oh, then it's cold, so I'm gonna have to eat it first. Look at his dawn. Hand for scale. And our yakitori came in. Bring it. I'm gonna go for it. Mm. Wow, the toilet is just right there. 
just the way you like it. Just the way I like it. I feel obligated to take off my shoes, so I will. Yes, let's see how it works. Wow, look at that bathtub. Unfortunately, no view. Um. Uh, um. I see a hair strand. Oh. Um. Oh, no. Big room though. <laughs> oh, we're blocked by these wood buildings, but not as great as Osaka. Yeah, but it's still good because we at least have a full size bed compared to other hotels out there. It's a new day, everyone. We got breakfast included with our hotel stay. So I'm really excited because there was udon, and then there's onsen egg. I think I'm gonna put the onsen egg on the rice, and there's pudding. It's crazy with rain. Y'all are protected with my umbrella. Yeah. I didn't even have those all. Hey. I'm getting now, I changed my mind. <laughs> Hers is better. Mine's gonna be even better. Are you much enough for me? No, I'm too sleepy for five weeks. We're here in Asakusa. <laughs> Guys, I've been on a hunt all trip for this, and I finally found it. We're here in Akihabara. The first stop is actually a cat cafe. Oh, a cat cafe. Oh, this is like 100 yen for treats. Now she has. It's okay, it's okay. Here, here, here. There you go. Mm. 
Thanks for rubber dub dubs. Christine had her fun. I gave her a hundred yen for treats and she <laughs> Bribery. loved it. So now I'm gonna go and do some retro game hunting. I'm mainly aiming for some classic games like Pocket Monsters, maybe some Final Fantasy, Meta Rot. Retro gaming. He's so excited, even though it's covered in tarp. So excited. He has Pokemon. This place is small. He's having the time of his life. We're going to Super Potato now. We already checked out two places. He found a few interested. Here at Yokocho at Omoide Yokocho. So now we're just gonna wait for Eileen. Wow. Yeah. But like, have there been any like um, hiccups or anything? Or the weather. That's the only thing. Uh, you can't control that. <laughs> you okay with me? Even to him? We're not gonna talk to us. We're gonna talk to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the one. We're standing in history. This is what is left over. So we swap places and they gave us even more. Oh my god, it just keeps coming. That afternoon tea was phenomenal. That was only like 60 something dollars per person. per person. They charge a service fee too, which is in this case would be tax, but like you don't get this kind of quality and views and unlimited drinks for so that price in New York. And bars. they give like little snacks too. I was like, what? And they have ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. With a little strawberry syrup in there. Or strawberry in general. I was blown away. You do not get this in New York. You get this for like $150. And you still have to pay tax and tip. Well, we did pay tax here, but it's just included in the sticker price. But I was like, oh, Sakura, the views. Oh my god. Highly recommend. Do you recommend? Yeah. Good experience. Nice views. You can see everything. You don't even have to go to the palace. Mm. Just go up there, you see it. The tea is so good too. No. This wasn't here last time. Just 
hits it with the light. So charismatic. <laughs> Doing it, just doing it. All right, Uniqlo, all 12 floors of glory. <laughs> Look at that. So, we've done a lot of shopping, a lot of shopping, and he's got his bag over there. And we unfortunately could not get fugu. We demolished the fried rice and everything else. Now it's the salt yakitori and the sauce yakitori. Gyoza! We're here back for breakfast and this time we got the Japanese breakfast. So I think this is chawanmushi. Yep, this is chawanmushi. And some pickled vegetables, some fish, rice, green tea. Oh, one hand. Ooh, nice. There we go. This morning we have parted ways. Addison is gonna go to Akihabara. He wants to look for more things. And for me, I have my nails appointment. So we're going to Snow Nail Salon, which is in Shinjuku. 16 minute walk from the hotel. And I wanna get my nails done. And then after that, we're gonna meet up at Pokemon Cafe, which is at one o'clock reservation. So I just got my nails done. Very, very pretty. Got like a nude base with a blush in the middle and little sparklies and cherry blossoms with, if you look in the middle, there's like a little dot, a gold bead in there actually. And then I wanted a cat paw, so I just got a normal paw for this one. It focuses, oh my god, there, like a 3D kind of thing going on. So really pretty, I like it. There we go. They were shocked that I knew Chinese, English, and Japanese. I communicated to them in all three languages, so it made somewhat easier on like communicating this because uh, they weren't fluent in English. They were clearly fluent in Chinese because they were talking to each other in Chinese, and I did respond back in some Japanese. You know, for Pokemon Cafe. Let's go check out the store first. Chef Pikachu with a giant hat. And then I got a female one. Pikachu. And then the coasters. Look at that. What
Full, but we have dessert. That's cute. I don't know how we're gonna do it. We already had all these drinks. Okay, guys, we're at the custom corner in Japan. Christine is currently figuring out what she wants. To Trippy, very trippy. There we go. The true Gundam base. This is store to find, what the heck? They make them look so short. Guys, just keeps coming. Just keeps coming. I didn't even get my chopsticks out yet. We gotta start eating. Get it, get it. We're doing our head spa today at a place called Rabacore. It's supposed to look really cute. Here we go. Guys, the whole reason why we came to Japan this time of year is just finally here. Cherry blossoms! Look at that guy over there trying his best. How many Pokemon centers will we be? Raquaza! Of course he wants a photo. I didn't want to be not allowed to read back again. Oh, look at you little Kirby just on the marshmallow and the little whipped cream and we got a random coaster. This one's cute. This is actually the one I wanted. This is so empty though. Like wait, it's so hard to get a reservation yet. It's so empty. The other drink has arrived. Let's flip it. Basically, it is chocolate milk. Look at the burger! Oh my god, so cute. <laughs> eh, not so pretty anymore. But look, this is still intact because of the straw. Kind of show it. Salad and something. It's like creamy in there. And 
then soup. It's like a bento, but for a tree. So get to keep the glass tray, the coasters, and our little Kirby. <laughs> Yoyogi Park. Yeah, but one of the corners. Is it different when it's done here in Japan? Not really. It is different. Look at this sakura latte. So cute. I wanted my one of my last few meals to be Japanese, but we are running out of time. We gotta eat so we have appetite for makase. Finally, you're a Meiji shrine. No, oh, there's a random bottle. Someone went drinking. and my flats were just way too unbearable so I bought sandals like specifically white ones that literally look like house slippers but you know what I don't care comfort is key I'm on vacation here and now we're gonna go to omakase we're having our first omakase here now oh my god Ooh, sushi kojima it took us a while to get here to figure out what it was I think that's it I hope so
This is like a soundproof area. Yeah. We didn't really have much time to debrief, but how was the omakase? It was okay. It's like longer than expected though. Yeah, like they had two seatings, one at 6 o'clock, which we were in, and there were like two other couples from what I noticed. And then after that, there was another group, it was like a group of four, coming at 7 p.m. So because of they were in like different stages, they like essentially there was one chef, and that is actually the name of the, the restaurant the omakase place chef kojima he was essentially the only one that was serving everyone so he was taking turns between like serving it and because of that there was like gaps of 10 minutes where we're not doing anything and just sitting there so our experience took two hours a little bit more actually two hours and 15 minutes or so so normally i actually like googled and everything what is the typical amount of omakase time because i was trying to plan team lab as well trying to see are we going to be running late are we going to be doing all that stuff it was supposed to be one hour as like a, an average omakase experience and because of that i was like oh shit i really thought we would have time to at least come here early but no but the good thing at least is that we came in five minutes before they closed the entry time and a good thing about that was that we had barely any people in our shots so <laughs> pro tip <laughs> not expected but be the first ones here and also be the last ones here if you want to get good shots without having anyone interrupting especially the water parts because that's like the first one they're closing they literally says like oh we're closing it soon so you gotta go and i think like at a certain point they just close it and then people who are over there are still there then the garden part was actually probably the most busy one when i say the garden one i mean like the hanging flowers because that is the very last stage people are probably still lingering around for those shots so yeah, what did you think of Team Lab Planets? Kind of late, but you know, at least yeah. we got the good shot. It's 10, 17 p.m. and we have our flight at 9, 15, so we gotta wake up at around 6 or so tomorrow morning. Which is not too bad, actually, now that I think about it, but because we could sleep 7 hours on the well, flight. We packed. We, we packed most of it, though. Yeah, a lot of stuff. But yeah, so I thought it was cool. It smelled like a lot of feet. It felt like a lot of feet. I, I did think it was a really cool immersive experience. There were a few times where there's like these little nooks that I don't think other people have been going to where it's like a hidden room. It's not really hidden, it's there. But honestly, it was pretty hard to tell where was like the entrance and where was the exit. So, I mean, but otherwise it was like a really cool experience. We took a lot of good photos. I taught him a few tricks here and there. Please, please. I need tricks. 
a bit like I basically take the photo and like I want this and then he does it and it doesn't work it just doesn't work <laughs> good morning we are leaving Tokyo we're leaving Japan bye bye see you in Singapore make sure to subscribe for the next vlog he got so excited when we got to the airport he was like aww aren't you a little sad work on this